everyone, and welcome to the experiment. Chill in this bottle, which is why we're wearing safety glasses. Kind of makes me feel like a witch. A little bit because <coughs> the lime is. Uh, you're right. Have you ever looked at a pine tree and thought, hmm, that looks yummy? Me neither, but this video might change your opinion. Back when I first got into foraging, spruce tips was one of the first things that I learned about. All conifer trees create new growth in the spring and the conifer tips are edible, with the exception of the highly toxic yew tree. So be sure you know what kind of conifer tree it is before you try any tree tips. Where we are, we mainly harvest Sitka spruce tips Harvesting spruce tips is really easy. I just remove the papery cover and then pluck it right off the branch. I typically like to wear gloves because the spruce tree is very pokey and sharp, but it's not completely necessary. As you can see, Viant doesn't wear any and he's fine. It's important not to overpick, so I only take a few from each tree and I never pick any from the very top because it stunts the growth of the tree. Picking spruce tips can actually be beneficial to the tree because it's a form of pruning. Spruce tips are antiseptic, antimicrobial, and an incredible source of vitamin C. They also contain vitamin A, vitamin E, and are a good source of magnesium and potassium. They can be eaten raw and they have a strong, piney, lemony flavor. They can also be dried or frozen and used in a wide variety of culinary and medicinal applications. I typically keep some fresh to use when we cook, but I also freeze some for later use, as well as dry some to use in tea throughout the year. Foraging is my happy place. I love being outside, in nature. It's really therapeutic. Being able to use what nature provides in a beneficial way to both me and my environment is a skill I am actively working on developing. Okay, so now that we have harvested these amazing spruce tips, let's make some beer. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode on Pacific Pines Ranch. Today we have something really different for you guys. Come along with us as we make beer. 
from a tree. Okay, so we are going to start. We are gonna go down to the clean machine and bring our little supplies down there. As you saw previously, we harvested a bunch of spruce tips and I would like to use them in as many ways as possible. I didn't get the amount that I typically like to get because we went down to the road trip down the west coast. If you missed that video, I will link it up here. So check that out, it's a pretty good one. Anyways, so the window of opportunity is extremely short with spruce tips and I just pretty much got what I could get before we left. And when we came back, there really wasn't any left that were accessible from the ground because they were pretty high and I cannot get up there yet. All right, so let's head down to the clean machine and get started. All right, we got all the supplies and we are about to head into the clean machine and get started. Game time. Okay, now we are going to unload everything that we brought down here, spread it all out and get started. But first, a word from today's sponsor. This knife from Husk will transform your daily meal prep. This professional, high quality knife is designed with the best materials to maximize performance and longevity. The premium oak wood handle fits perfectly in your hand and the grip hole allows for secure grip for maximum control. The Husk knife is made from high quality steel and has a 38 degree blade edge. Not only is it extremely sharp and durable, its versatility gives you the option to use it for a wide variety of food preparation. This knife is really versatile and we've found a lot of different uses for it and it works for a really wide variety of materials. Weighing in at 252 grams and measuring 28 centimeters in length, the husk knife is light, perfectly balanced, and will dull so slowly you won't even notice. The husk knife is a great addition to add to your kitchen to upgrade your daily meal prep. Overall, we have had a really great experience using this knife. It's really easy to use, it fits great in your hand, it's really versatile and I really can't wait to take it camping with us. We do love to go camping and this is gonna be the perfect addition to our camping kitchen. Be sure to click the exclusive link in the description to get a Husk Knife for 70% off. With a 30 day money back guarantee, you can test out the knife risk-free. Designed with comfort and versatility in mind, the high quality husk knife is a knife anyone can use to transform their meal prep experience. Don't forget to click the exclusive link in the description to get 70% off your purchase before the deal is gone and experience the quality and versatility of a husk knife. Special thank you to Husk Knives for sponsoring this video. All right. So for this video, we are going to be making two different kinds of experiments with the spruce tips. One of which I ordered some products for and they sent me the wrong products. So I'm gonna have to make that a different day. Today, we are just gonna focus on the soda. We are going to do the recipe that I found online to make soda with spruce tips and see how it turns out. It's my first time making this with spruce tips. I've dehydrated them, I've made teas with them, I've made syrup with them, but never a carbonated beverage. So we'll have to see how it turns out. But first, we have to set the vibe. So Viant is gonna help me today, the best helper. So right now what we're gonna do is boil some water and sanitize the glasses. I know these are not ideal, so uh, don't give me too much hate in the comments for them, but we have two bottles that we're working with. We have this bottle and this bottle. Both are leftover from 
other things that we had bought and drank, but that's pretty much all we have. So we're gonna go with that. So Viant is just gonna put, he already washed them with soap and water. Now we're gonna boil some water and sanitize them with boiling water and then add the ingredients. I absolutely love citrus. Good stuff. I put it in and on everything. All right, so we are ready to make the first drink. So one of them we are going to make kind of classic without anything added. And the second one we are going to add this lemon lime juice that we just made. So we can have a little bit of variety and see which one tastes better, but also see what the original tastes like. So we can maybe base our future recipes off of what we know what that tastes like with nothing else inside. So let's go. All right, so we just finished the first spruce tip soda. So it's gonna chill in this bottle in a sunny window for like three days and we'll see what happens to it. So now we are just gonna rinse and repeat and do the same thing with the second glass container we have, except with this one, we are gonna add a little bit of lemon lime juice and see what that tastes like. So let's go. All right, so we just finished making these two sodas. We got the lemon lime spruce tip soda and the classic spruce tip soda. 
So we are gonna let them hang out for about three days, maybe ferment a tiny bit and come back and try them after that. And I cannot wait to try them. You might be asking yourself, why am I wearing safety glasses inside our shower house? And you're about to find out why. Today is the day. We are cracking open our first experiment with the spruce tips. And we're gonna test it out and see what it tastes like. So, pretty exciting, kind of scary. <laughs> It's like a timing bomb. <laughs> yeah, we are concerned about the carbonation. Wait, don't do it yet, don't do it yet. Which is why we're wearing safety glasses. You never know, okay? I don't want a shard of glass in my eye in the event that they explode for some reason. I don't know. But anyways. All right, first. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, do this one first. It's in carbonated. Oh my god. Oh. Dieu noir. <laughs> Dang it. Where is the fermentation? It's just gonna be like a... Wait, no, we don't want all the things coming out. Hold on, hold on. Let's grab a, a filter. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is just gonna taste like tea. Like spruce tip tea. Which actually isn't bad. Maybe we should put ice with it. Let's see what's off. Just do like a little bit to taste it and then after uh, we'll add. So we'll it smells very it. fresh. Okay, test number one. Right. Well, I guess I can take these off now because it didn't explode. It actually didn't even ferment at all. Yeah. So. And so now we can open this one. Let me just crack it. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. So I followed a recipe online. I don't know if I did something wrong, but uh, let me get these little floaties out of here. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. Not bad. That's too bad that it didn't ferment because this would have been really good as a soda. Yeah, the test is uh, it's really good. Almost like you don't even you feel the 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 spruce tips, but not too much. Yeah. It's kind of went away. Yeah, it's very very interesting. Still have a little bit of up. Did yeah. you ferment? I don't know. So. This one, it didn't ferment, but it is actually delicious. So, yeah. We will try it again uh, next time with a different way. Maybe more sugar or something, I don't know. Maybe the temperature was too low because in Oregon, that can barely go above like 60s on the coast. And yeah, on the coast, it doesn't get very hot. Okay, so. I'm curious to try this one. Okay. All right, so on to the next one. No, we fail. <laughs> ah. Dang it. So this one was with the lemon. Yeah. Well, don't need these anymore. That's too bad. We failed. So we, but won't, we won't open our brewery today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah, way better actually. Sure. That's really good. Who's the lemon? Yeah. This was the one that we added a little bit of lemon and lime juice. These are both really delicious with no carbonation, but a little bit of carbonation would be the icing on the cake. So that's too bad. We tried, we it didn't work out, but we will adjust and try again another time. Or, worst case, another thing that we can do is just add carbonation to this. But I really wanted to try to have it ferment. 
it's just interesting because I put a banana in water, literally just the peel of a banana in water, nothing else, closed the lid, and that fermented. <laughs> I use that for my plants as like a fertilizer. So I thought, oh, it should work with this. It didn't. Still pretty tasty though. And it does kind of taste like Sprite in a way. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, on to the next project. So first up, we are giving the spruce tips a little rinse. So we're basically going to work on adding all the ingredients to the pot, bring the water to a rolling boil, and let it boil for about 30 minutes. So we're just working on adding all the ingredients to the pot right now. I like to use my little juicer machine, but Viant prefers the Hulk juicing method where he just smashes the juice out of the lemons. But honestly, it works well for him. <laughs> So how do you think this is going to turn out? I hope delicious. Somebody told me that is the champagne of the wood. <laughs> <laughs> the woodsman champagne. Yep. Okay, now the trick is to try to get the sugar in this measuring cup without getting it everywhere. the first one kind of makes me feel like a witch So we need to let this boil for about 30 minutes to a rolling boil and then let it cool down to room temperature. Mm -hmm. 
fast. So we got most of the liquid into this jug, so now we are going to add the champagne yeast and put the little, I forget what it's called, airlock cap on it and wait. Exciting. Fingers crossed that this one works though. The last cup. Amazing. Just one gallon. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, I wonder how they make yeast. Maybe we don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> if you know how they make yeast, drop us a comment and let us know. Okay. All right, give it a good check. I think that's good. It said lightly shake it. All right, so we're good. All right. Okay. Now we just put some water in the airlock and wait. All right. This is like some kind of science experiment. Okay, seems to be alright. No? Alright, here we go. Let's wait and see how it turns out. Pretty exciting. Fingers crossed that this one works. To be continued. Okay, as you can see, it is night. We ran out of time today, but we got the tree champagne made. So now we just have to let it ferment in this jug.
everybody. It is a new day. It has been some time since the last video. We are just chilling here, having a nice little bonfire for the end of the day, enjoying this beautiful place that we call home. Anyways, so today is the day we are going to test our creation. I'm a little nervous. I hope it's not disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I really don't even know what to expect because I've never done anything even close to this and I don't even know anyone who has done anything close to this so all right so the plan is basically here it is get drunk <laughs> <laughs> so here it is and we are going to siphon it out of this into some glasses yeah, like this glass. Because we don't have too much uh, kitchen stuff these days because it's all packed away because we are building our house, if you didn't know that. It's a work in progress, okay? So we just gotta work with what we have and what we have is basically just a variety of mason jars. <laughs> but I think it'll, it'll, it'll work. So we're gonna siphon all of this out and try it. Is this not the most scenic setting you have ever seen for a taste test? As the night goes on, it will get better and better just because the light uh, changes and yeah. As it gets a little darker, the fire starts to glow, the lights start to glow, and an orange-ish light is casted onto the forest. It's a vibe. Okay, so we're gonna siphon this liquid out and uh, well, no, I should say we're gonna attempt to siphon this liquid out. I don't know. I mean, we've siphoned stuff before for like, but not, not this. What the heck did we even siphon? Probably like gear oil. No, we didn't siphon gear oil. That would be almost impossible. It's so thick. <laughs> I know we, for our boat project, we had to siphon some really sketchy water after that we were a little concerned oh, yeah a little this is what i get, got in my mouth like the nasty water on the, the bottom of the boat yeah we were a little concerned after that but here we are we made it so all right we're gonna siphon it and see what's up I do this way. Any drop is too precious. Okay, okay, guys, this is what we call a wilderness uh, beer bomb. No way. Yeah. Dang. Oh yeah. 
it's pretty good. Okay, so Vyance tree bonging it Just off this. Oh, dang. <laughs> you did? Yeah. It's okay, we have more. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do. So we siphoned everything out. Uh, we only made a few little mistakes, as you can see. And there's all the remnants of what I think is the yeast. I don't know. But whatever. Just a little the stuff at the bottom. I would say it's at least a good uh, eight degrees the alcohol, you know? Percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we just tried a little bit of it through the siphon and um, it's really good. It's pretty uh, strong. I'm kind of shocked actually because I thought that it would not be as strong. Uh, I think we let it ferment for like two weeks if I remember well. But well, anyways, it clearly worked because you can taste it. So, I think what we're gonna do is make a little cocktail with some of one and yeah, enjoy it a little bit. There's still some bubbles in there. So they didn't, so they didn't completely stop yet. But anyways, here's my review. It's pretty good. I'm like very pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. It kind of tastes like, like a mix between sour beer, if you've never had sour beer, it's really delicious, uh, and kind of champagne-y. It definitely tastes like when you, how, when you make tea from spruce tips, but just with alcohol in it, yeah. like, it's a very unique flavor. It's really hard to describe, but pretty tasty. All right, do your evaluation. <laughs> How do you call the, the sommelier, right? Yes. It's really good, it's really good. It's kind of like really close to beer, actually. You think? I, I feel like it tastes more like champagne. Kinda Just really without, mix between without both, the bubbles. Yeah. It's still bubbly, but not as much. If I knew that was so easy to make alcohol. Oh God, I know, right? It's probably better that like our younger selves didn't know that. <laughs> okay, we have to make some people try that. <laughs> yes, we do. I don't even know what to call this. The spruce juice. <laughs> <laughs> Come to have some spruce juice with us. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So I am just gonna chill with my babe. These are our date nights nowadays. Just chill by the fire on our property, which if you ask me, literally cannot be any any better. That is the ultimate uh, date night. <laughs> so we're just gonna chill by the fire, make a cocktail with the spruce juice. <laughs> and <laughs> this is and so funny. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy life. Sipping on spruce juice, laid back with my mind on construction and construction on my mind. Hello. I can't jungle yet. Anyways, welcome to Jess's bar because I have I cannot think of a more creative name at the moment. So, what we're gonna be doing today is making a cocktail out of the spruce juice. So. We have our ingredients, lime, ice, maple syrup, spruce juice. And we are going to combine them all and then drink it. Maybe you can keep the eyes for you, my man. Or film it. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let me know what you think. Uh, ooh. Mmm, so good. It is very good. The lime go very well with it. Yeah. It's already like citrusy a little bit because <laughs> the lime is... Uh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the spruce juice. Oh. All right. So, so strong. And that, my friends, is how you make beer from a tree or champagne or I don't know, some kind of alcohol. <laughs> Harvested from the trees of our land. Not these trees because they're too big and the first branches are like 30 feet in the air. So we cannot get up there, but other trees on our property. The fire is roaring and we are about to just chill and stare at it for a few hours and enjoy the night. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I super mega appreciate it. Maybe one day I can share some spruce juice with you. I don't know, we'll see where life takes us. Anyways, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Okay, bye. So unfortunately, the first experiment that we did didn't work out the way that I thought it would, but that's okay. We'll try again next year and tweak the recipe a little bit and see if we can get it to work. I'm super, super happy with how the spruce juice came out. It is absolutely delicious and I can't wait to sip on it throughout the next few weeks and just enjoy it. I can't believe it. We made friggin' beer from a tree. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna do in life, I swear. Anyways, overall, I love trying new things. Even if they don't work out, at least we tried. So, time to enjoy the fire and enjoy the spruce juice. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on the ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and during the week, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.